Rachel Kinsman, Health Education Coordinator and PIO for the Fulton County Health Department. I welcome you to watch as we explore why should I take the vaccine in today's video. Fulton County residents, pharmacists, and doctors will share information regarding the safety, development, and importance of the COVID-19 vaccine. My wife and I came down here for this because our children very highly recommended, and we've got five children, and they highly recommended that we should do this. And of course, we were intending to do it in the first place. And we feel that this shot is very effective. It's like 90%, at least 90 to 95%. And there doesn't seem to be very many side effects and so forth from it. And I recommend that uh, people that are 85 or 75 or above that they get these shots because if you have any underlying health problems uh, this would be very good for you because if you have have these underlying problems you can possibly get a uh, very severe uh, situation out of that so uh, if you don't have the vaccine so I highly recommend it and there's nothing to it. You just come down and get your shot. And we feel that it's not going to be any uh, complications. I agree totally with what he said. Uh, we think it's important because you want to go out and do things while you can. And, uh, and your kids want to come and see you. And, so it's really necessary. As pharmacists at Fulton County Health Center, we're very happy and humbled to be able to assist the health department in this um, vaccination clinic endeavor today um, and throughout the coming month and maybe months. Um, as pharmacists, uh, we deal with vaccinations and injections regularly, and this was something we felt we uh, are experts in and we're happy to assist um, the nurses. And um, our job today is to handle the cold chain um, from beginning to end and make sure the vaccination is stored properly and yeah. thawing the vaccine properly, um, diluting the vaccine, and drawing up the correct dose. Um, and overall, it's been a very humbling experience. Um, this population today, um, being the 80 year old and over, um, they haven't been out a whole lot. And um, a lot of the comments, feedback we've been getting is many thank yous. A lot of thank yous. Um, very appreciative. Happy that the health center could be here to assist in this in this manner. Rachel, do you have anything? Yeah, no, I definitely think it's a humbling yeah. experience, and all the people that have come in today have been just so grateful, so pleasant, and excited and eager to get this vaccine, which makes us feel really good because we do stand behind the vaccine. Um, so it, it's just rewarding, very rewarding. So we're very happy to be here to help and work with the community to bring this to Polk County. I'm often asked about the mechanism of action of the COVID-19 vaccine. Um, and both of the COVID-19 vaccines, both the Moderna and the Pfizer BioNTech vaccines are mRNA vaccines. Um, and when people hear mRNA, they think of DNA and are concerned about um, genetic um, disruptions or effects or long-term effects. Um, but mRNA is very different than DNA. Um, in fact, when um, the COVID-19 vaccines are injected, um, they, um, go into the muscle cells of the arm and uh, are not able to enter the nucleus of the cell or get into or anywhere near the, um, a patient's DNA. Um, so the mRNA vaccine tells your cells to produce um, spike proteins, which then your body in turn creates antibodies to, so that if a person were to become exposed to COVID-19, they would have the antibodies to fight that virus. I had the opportunity to go out to the fairgrounds last Saturday and was in the group that helped with the vaccinations. And I really wanted to just help with some of the answers to some of the questions that I was given. First of all, that a lot of people felt that 
the day they were vaccinated that they were protected. And while the vaccine is great, I want to emphasize the fact that the vaccine that day is only just starting to help you, that it takes two or three or four weeks to get started, that by the second week, you're starting to show some protection. By the fourth week, you're actually showing quite a bit of protection. Then you'll get a booster for that protection to go all the way up to 95%. That means that you are 95% protected from getting COVID at all. And that even if you get it, you'll get a much lesser degree of the infection at that time. Another point that I think was experienced by everybody is that the whole process is very easy. That in the news, they, you show long lines and people not able to get the vaccine. And while there may be some delays, the, the process in Fulton County has been extremely smooth. And everybody had a very easy time coming in, getting the vaccine, and going home. We also, in the 250 or so people that got the vaccine that day, we saw no bad reactions. And in fact, nationally, there have been only average of about 11 anaphylactic reactions per million people. That's almost the same amount that you would expect if you would win the lottery. So the chances of you having a bad reaction to this vaccine are extremely low. And then finally, everybody has their own part in building their own immunity. Uh, first is get some sleep. Make sure you're eating well. Make sure you're drinking well for the days following the vaccine, because that helps boost your immunity. Do all the things that you know to be healthy. And then finally, when can you go out and visit your grandbaby or your mom or your dad? That's at about two weeks after the final injection. So that the day you get vaccinated isn't the day you can go. The, the day two weeks after your second vaccination, that's when you're in that 95%, and then you can feel much safer going out and not getting the coronavirus yourself, but also that you're far less likely to spread it. So I just wanted to reemphasize those things that I was emphasizing to people in the recovery period, because those I think are really important and they aren't generally being talked about in the news. I also think this is a time to be very excited because this, this, this is the start of you reassuming your normal life. For over a year now, we have been bottled up in our houses, not able to go out, not be able to socialize, and this is the start. And the more people we can get vaccinated quicker, the sooner that will start. And as soon as we can get up to a certain percentage, then we can get this problem behind us. What is your why? What, what is, is your why? why? What, what is, is your why? why? What is your why?